One of the things that sets our breweries program apart, uh, while most breweries will have a set of flagship beers, ones that consumers would instantly recognize, we've sort of hung our hat on exclusively seasonals. Many of our beers don't make second appearances, or if they do, with tweaks and different things to emphasize flavors or colors that are more suited to the environment at the time. During the heat of summer, you may see a white stout from us, and during the dead of winter, you might see a very nice bright lager. We try to brew some things similar to the season that work in cohesion with those kind of flavors and moods, but predominantly we just do whatever we're looking towards, whatever kind of fun things we can think of. We look at what ingredients are currently in season. For instance, when the Australian hop crops became available, we instantly threw those into an Australian hopped IPA. Uh, for darker beer drinkers, we often feature things like stouts or porters, interesting blends. We have on tap, for instance, right now a dark IPA brewed with a hazy yeast, so you still get a very nice fruit forward note. Our sours are all mixed fermentation, so they take many months to make, but in the end you come up with a more complex, dense set of flavors. As far as local goes, we've gone as far as to go into the river valley ourselves and pick fresh hops from the vine and dump those right in. Uh, we have that in our Wet n Wild XBA. Another local farmer brewed 100% fresh Cascade varietal hops, which are very citrusy, very flavorful. And we used exclusively those in another of our current wet hopped beers on tap. I come from the food traditions, so every time I'm thinking about where I'm having my beer, where I have my wine, I really want to know who the producer is and what they were doing. So it's nice to come to Odd Company and see in person the work that they're doing, which is the same work I'm doing, which is to try to track down beautiful inputs, uh, be conscious of what's going into the wine, and ultimately try to show you what's going on in that vintage. These are both from 2018, so um, these wines are going to vary every single vintage based on when I picked, based on how warm the season was, uh, based on the other things going on in the valley. To speak to your one first, I really like this. Uh, this wine's unfined, unfiltered. So it's just aromatic. Mad. I'm glad it's jumping out at you. Uh, mm. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. And so this, after seven months in barrel, you can see that some sediment is still suspended. But again, as a winemaker, I wanted to give you something as pure and unadulterated as possible. We also have the Viognier here, and you're aware of this wine as well. I love that wine. And what's kind of neat about this vintage as a winemaker, um, these are small batches, I'm pushing them in a certain direction. And in the case of this wine, I really want to create something that's juicy and pairs really well with food, uh, which just gets back to the, um, to the food tradition.